Hello friends, today we discuss asset normalization. So what is asset normalization? In ServiceNow asset table, the data of asset is coming from different different sources. Let me show you. This is asset table, okay? And data is coming from discovery. Data is coming from some integration. Data is coming from, uh, you know, manually. Or data is coming from, from any legacy system. There may be more number of data sources from where the data is coming. These are the four examples for the time. Okay. So let's say the data of operating system is coming to here. So this, this, like this. Okay. So from discovery, the data is coming like WS2002. And from integration, W2002. And in manually, WIN. 2002 and from here w2002 so we know that data is same right but the way data is represented is different because it is coming from different different systems so when it enters into service now it will create chaos because same data is represented differently so we have to do something to make this data according to the company standards and then finally put or insert that data into ServiceNow asset table. So to do that, we have to do some kind of processing here, right? So here some processing will happen. Some processing will be happening here and that processing will be reconciliation rules, normalization rules or data import rules. I mean to say we have to update the data before it enters into ServiceNow tables and make that data very accurate, make that data correct with respect to different different sources and with respect to the company standards. So that's what we do by using any of this. Okay, processing can be done any of this and this is available in ServiceNow asset management. Okay, so we do this. After that, we come to know that the new standard is windows 2002 it means name of the operating system and then its version okay so this is the new standard as per the latest company and then we will add this data into our asset table so this process of increasing the data integrity increasing the data correctness is known as normalization we have to normalize the data every time it comes from different systems. And that is the only way to make sure the data is correct, to make sure data is relevant with respect to your organization. Otherwise, it will impact the decisions, it will impact the reports, it will impact the cost and time ultimately. So I hope you understand what is data normalization. You have to do it and how to do in practical, we will see when we start asset management, but for the time being, this is normalization. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.